so excited excuse the over excitement i have got my pumpkin my pumpkin spice latte mm, mm, mm. so the pumpkin spiced latte is back so we have a karma to get it well actually i haven't had my morning coffee today and i look very 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 rough as well i actually um was really really busy i had a few errands to run this morning and we had quite a few things to do today so that basically meant that i just didn't have time to do my coffee um this morning or have any breakfast so i've just brought myself a pumpkin spiced latte and um i bought myself a toasty as well so current situation um we have just finished well finished we have just left starbucks i need to pop into h&m to return a couple of things so i'm taking harvey with me because he's quite chilling he doesn't do anything so i'm gonna go to h&m i need to return a couple of things and then i'm gonna make an exchange so i'm just on my way there now um my phone is gonna fall down any second so i'm having to hold it so i will speak to you guys later but before i drank my pumpkin spice i really really really, really wanted to show you seriously look how rough i look honestly my little ponytail um but yes i am here chilling with my pumpkin spice i actually got this I think nearly an hour and a half ago and I'm still drinking it and it still tastes just as good to be honest but this is the reason why I always get iced coffees and I'd never get a hot coffee because I cannot drink a hot coffee really fast um, I drink my coffees really really slow hence why I just always prefer to get a cold coffee instead so I'm actually online now. Um, let me show you guys. So I'm online now and I'm just at Missy Empire and I'm just going through their loungewear. Um, just looking at what kind of things I want to get. So I've been, I've been vlogging for a few days now and I just feel like I'm always just looking really rough and I'm just wearing some like weird ass clothes to be honest. Um, so I just really wanted to get some nice knitwear and things like that. So as you guys can see, I'm wearing this kind of, um, what do you call this top? Kind of just like a, what do you call this top? Just like a vest top. And I love wearing these vest tops. Um, so I brought a couple of cardigans today from H&M. They're the long cardigans. So I brought two of them. And I bought a couple of other things from H&M as well. So I was thinking of doing a H&M um, try on haul for you guys. It's very small. I've only got like four or five outfits. But I was thinking I might do a haul for you guys and just show you guys in a separate video. Some people might not want to watch a vlog, but they might want to watch something like that. So I'm also on Missy Empire at the moment as well. I wanted to just have a look at some more cardigans and some sweatshirts. Um, so I just kind of love and live for joggers, um, especially on a day to day, like who wants to be wearing skinny jeans? And to be honest, I really don't. So I wanted to have a look at some leggings as well. Um, H&M have some really nice leggings, but I just couldn't find any. So I know with your online stores and your online shopping, they always have some really nice leggings. So I'm going to try and see if I can find anything from Missy Empire there. Usually I love their clothes and I find... Their clothes are really, really, really soft as well. Look at all my baby hairs and look at the way I look. So I've actually got a meeting in about five minutes. Um, so I thought I'm just gonna quickly vlog um, before I have my meeting. And then I wanted to get ready and I wanted to go to next to home. And I also wanted to go to Sainsbury's. So I wanna be making, um, I want to make some, what is it I want to, I want to make some Biscoff brownies, so I wanted to go get the ingredients from Sainsbury's, um, so I was going to maybe go a little bit later on because Harvey's at school, so I was going to take Avni and me and her were going to go, so yes, yeah, so and can you guys hear Avni crying now? 
sorry i don't know why i'm talking so loud i think it's because she's got her cartoons on in the background as well fun for the day fun for the little boy who lives down the lane so i usually wrap papa anthony like this i don't know if you guys have heard of like what swaddle is i know she's a bit too old to have um to swaddle now here we go bobby here we go bobby bobby so I know she's a little bit too old to swaddle now, but I believe it or not, just find that it's so good. Like she can just have her arms in here. I'll just swaddle her in her swing and she'll just like watch nursery rhymes or watch some cartoons and she will literally just fall asleep, which is the best thing ever. I find it's really good for a baby to comfort themselves rather than you comfort them. So I've just finished my meeting and actually Avneet was crying. She cried for the first 15 minutes. I had an hour's meeting. Hey, baby. So I tried to give milk as I showed you guys. I was trying to swaddle her. I gave her milk and she didn't drink her milk and she actually started crying. So she cried for the first 15 minutes. Oh, my little bubby. Oh, big cuddles for your mummy. So she actually started crying. Oh, pardon you. So she actually started crying um, for the for about fifteen minutes. She was crying, not really fully, fully, but she was crying quite a bit. And then she eventually soothed herself to sleep. So I've just woken up. Woken up. She's just woken up. So I was about to, hold on, what are you doing? Look how beautiful this looks guys. Let me show you. Look how beautiful this looks. I cannot wait to put this onto the door. Hi, how cute do you look in this daylight? Hi. So like I said, I was, um... hey Louis, do you want my keys? Do you want my keys? Hi. Hi. Shall we sit you down over here? Sit you down? Good girl. Really? So I've actually come to get my USB. So I put my camera on charge. Come on, let's get up again. There we go. So please excuse me. So I put my vlogging camera on charge in the car and i wanted to put my camera on charge because i keep filming with my um with my phone so i wanted to put my vlogging camera on charge but hello so i was going to um just have a shower and get ready but i've actually decided i'm not going to have a shower and get ready i'm actually going to work on the box room so if you guys remember I showed you guys the box room the other day and I showed you guys that we need to give it a paint job and we just need to clean it up. So I thought I'm going to go and clean it up now. So Avnit is going to help us. So I'm just going to let her play in her room for a little while while I do that and you guys are coming along. Right, okay. So I want to show you guys what this room looks like. You guys... I don't even know if this stuff interests you, to be honest. But um, I just thought I can um, get you guys in on some DIY. So let me show you guys. So this is the current situation of this room. Let me show you guys from this side as well. So this is the current situation of this room. Um, we've just got little random stuff. So I've got this suitcase here. I've got this suitcase here. Last week, I went to my mum's to get ready. I've got just random shoes. I've got a little Dyson. That's the plaster. So this is the plastering machine to mix it all. So the goal is, what we're going to do is, I'm going to clear out um, these two drawers from this room. I'm going to clear away some of this stuff. This can go into our garage. This is just Juggy's tools. So these can go out. Some of this stuff can go into the garage. And then I'm going to leave the bench because I can use that to do some painting. And then I am going to just move a few of these things. And then I'm going to move the mattress out of this room and move this into either our bedroom or the kids' bedroom for now. And the only problem is this mattress is absolutely huge. 
And I actually want to get rid of this mattress and put this into the loft. So I don't know whether I'll be able to do this, but I want to start working on... Um, Probably do some sanding. So I want to sand the, um, I want to sand the, what is that called? I don't even know what it's called. The windowsill. I want to sand the windowsill and sand all of the um, skirtings. And then we can probably start off with the base paint and then go into a gloss paint for the. Current situation. I am covered in plaster because I am sanding in this room. If any of you guys that follow me on my Instagram, you guys will know that I hate DIY. And even though we've had a run down house and we've been doing it up, I absolutely hate doing this. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's only 10 past five and in my prediction, Juggy's not going to be back for another hour, give or take, maybe even an hour and a half. So I think by the time he does get here, I will we'll end up having sanded all the walls. So I've sanded all this wall. I've done that wall. I've got two more walls left. Um, it's only been half an hour since I've actually started doing this. I am getting real bad anxiety. Um, just having the so we've got the staircase and we've got the actual rail on the staircase is brown whereas that needs to be white so that also needs to be taken off sanded down and then it has to be painted white and stuck back on so i'm just having a lot of anxiety like i don't know this week i've just been like why the hell is there still things outstanding hey guys say hello hello hi so excuse the no makeup but for once i've actually done my hair so i just did my makeup makeup i did my hair um but i didn't do any makeup today just because why didn't we do any makeup today Bobby? why didn't we do any makeup today so i just didn't do my makeup today because i just thought i'm only going out for a couple of errands so there's no point really um doing a full face of makeup and then just to come home and wash it off although isn't that we do for everything um but we are on our way um just to pick up a few groceries so sorry harvey wasn't really talking much and you guys couldn't see much of me so i love how my hair turned out today it's got so much volume and you can actually see the kind of a line as well um absolutely love it i styled it a different way today to be honest um I would have put on makeup but it was just getting late and the couple of shops that we wanted to go to um they are gonna close but sorry i'm just trying to maneuver out of here for the moment they have only just gone and basically whacked our bins right outside our drive i really just didn't want to um get out and um start uh, doing that so i really wanted to buy some gray leggings but it's pouring down with rain and to be honest i don't think it's suitable to be having harvey and avni walk in the rain um so i'm gonna give that a rain rain check um and probably come back um, another day i'm gonna have a look at the weather and if today, tomorrow's a good day then we can always go tomorrow um it's such a shame because i wanted to pop into a matalan and a second into primark probably more of matalan to be honest um matalan has really 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 nice leggings they're super comfortable they're really nice and high-waisted and they're really good quality i don't know if any of you guys have shopped in matalan but i absolutely love their leggings but again the matalan which is the closest to us is basically on a high street not really a high street it's inside a um a shopping center but you've got to walk on the high street so i don't think this rain is going to be good for harvey to walk in there is another matalan which i can go to and i'm just about to debate whether i want to go to that matalan but we shall see you guys are coming with me i also want to pick up um some pumpkin spice some autumnal candles um i know i did talk about it in my previous vlog but i'm just loving scented candles at the moment and i'm just loving that autumnal smell so i really 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 want to pick up more candles and more kind of like 
that scent and pick up something like that so yeah but I'm just gonna carry on driving and um, have a little bit of um, quality time queue time with my boy and I shall uh, speak to you guys later <laughs> Um, go to any other places so just get into the car Whew. so look at my hair so as you guys can see it well see me anyways but it's very rainy and just wet um, we've just got into the car so I actually for once charged my vlogging camera right put it over both of your hands so for once I okay oh no huh here you go, just put it all over your hands now. So for once, I actually charged my camera, fully charged my camera. I left it all evening yesterday and um, last night. So my camera is more, not even fully charged, it's literally overcharged. Um, sorry, I like to um, sterilize my steering wheel as well. Bless you. Um, sterilize my steering wheel. And then a little bit on my keys, just because of everything you're still touching. Oh, you've got to wait now, darling. Wait. Okay. So, like I said, it's a very kind of rainy day. Um, we drove, so I wanted to go to a Matalan. So I drove to a Matalan. And uh, what do we know? The Matalan, which I actually drove to, doesn't actually exist. So that Matalan doesn't... Um, wasn't there anymore so we just came to our local tesco's instead it was a local matalan um it's basically meant to be quite local to the tesco's oh, no, we're I at need the right, I need okay the right okay so we went there and like i said that was closed so we left there and just came to our local tesco's and it's already been like an hour and a half since we've been out and about i really 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 took my time in um Tesco's and just did a nice little shop so I just brought something for dinner for today and for tomorrow so because it's half six I don't think we'll be making the chicken but I love making like a roast chicken with some roast veggies I just it's just one of my favorite dinners to make um, so I brought that and I brought like a whole spatch cooked chicken um, but I won't be making that today because like I said um, it's half six and obviously that's just gonna take ages to cook so i also brought um some linguine pasta i always buy the fresh one from the fridge rather than the um the dry pastas from in the packet and i also brought some um wines and um some prosecco because we finished of our wines and prosecco and we hadn't been buying some for i think way over a month and a half i think we lasted our wines really long we never actually bought any for such a long while um and then we also tried to buy ingredients for our biscoff brownies now the only issue was we um managed to get everything else but the biscoff spread actually run out so there was actually a home bargains just here, but I think it's closed now, to be honest. Wait, actually, I think it closes at half seven. But we're not going to go there now. But the entire Biscoff spread section in the Tesco's, it was out of stock. So I think because it's nearly seven o'clock, it's going to be a little bit too late to have both the kids out. So I'm going to see if Jeggy's back home. And if he is, then I'm just going to drop the kiddies with him. Maybe just take Harvey with me and we'll pop into the other Tesco's that's next to our house. And we'll see if they have the biscoff spread so prosecco and oh my god this candle so i remember when i said i'm gonna find some autumnal candles so remember how i just said to you guys i want to find some autumnal candles so i found this one here so this is a yankee candle and this one is a pumpkin chai latte oh my god 
When me and Harvey were smelling this, when we just opened the lid, it smelled so strong. They also had another one called gingerbread something, but that one just made me feel more sickly rather than it was nice. So I got this one here. And then I also bought, let me just go and get it for you guys. And I also got this thing here. So this is the Nescaf Gold um, Toffee Nut Latte. So this makes um, eight sash, I think eight mugs. I think it's got eight sachets in here. So I've never actually used these sachet type lattes before. Um, but yeah, so I think you just mix this in with it doesn't really say yes water no just some yeah water yeah so you just mix this in with some water i think i'll probably add some caramel to this yeah we can do this later okay so i'm just going to be making this later so i'll probably make this tonight vlog though because I think I've just got um, so many kind of um, random shots so I thought let me just put everything together and then I'll end the vlog probably today but hello mirror but um, I wanted to I don't know if I remember when I showed you guys the finished wreath I think I did but I just want to show you guys the wreath again so I'm just going to show you guys now in we get I know, but let's get in. Your hand is very naughty. What do you mean hand is very naughty? It's your hand. So Harvey's been clearly knocking it about and he's saying your hand is very naughty. So I'm actually glad that it's one of ours and um, like we've made it, not someone else. Yes, Harvey. So do you guys like my little autumnal? Can you guys see Harvey's clearly come and messed around with this? But I wasn't actually gonna vlog um, today for you guys at all um but the only reason i'm vlogging is because i've just made some biscoff brownies so clearly i've been watching too much of a Gemma louise mills i've got her name right because i've been binge watching her so clearly i've been watching too much at Gemma louise mills um who made the brownies so they're nearly finished so i will show you guys and then i want to um once they've cooled down and they're at room temperature I'm going to just spray some icing sugar on them. So once they're made, I'm going to show you guys. And then I am going to be making some chicken. Half, 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 half. This is not good because I'm trying to talk. So the plan is once the brownies finish, I'm going to chuck in some roast potatoes and some chicken and we're going to have that for dinner tonight. So um, I'm just going to make um, some of that for dinner and then I thought we'll have some brownies for dessert. Put on some candles and just watch a nice movie. On Saturdays we like to do a family movie where we can all sit down and we let the kids sleep downstairs um, and fall asleep on the sofa. So I know it's not really a good habit because obviously they're coming out of their routine but um on a saturday we don't mind and that's the plan hi hi right i best check on the brownies and i shall update you guys in a bit didn't come out the way that I wanted them to they kind of just became a bit squidgy and fell apart but they taste amazing so we've just um I just iced them just so they look a little bit good with just some icing sugar 
But now, as you guys can see, we are just um, sitting down and we're picking a family movie and we're just gonna kind of have a movie night. So I'm just gonna go and cozy up as well.